Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Shay. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. I am a part-time seller on Poshmark, eBay, and Macari. My name is Tyler. <laughs> and today's video is going to be a haul video. Um, as we mentioned on our live yesterday, we are dealing with a little bit of burnout. We are so, so behind on life. Yeah. So this is going to be a nice, quick, easy video for you guys. Uh, but we have some stuff in here that's actually really amazing and I don't even know how we've been finding them, but uh, yeah, so you have a shirt I do have a shirt off. to start it off. All dogs are therapy dogs, most are just freelancing, which is outrageously true. And actually, he did have a shirt in our last video. A few of you guys did notice it. We just didn't mention it because, yeah. I don't know, because we're space cadets. So if you saw that one. The burnout um, is real. The yeah, is, let us know in the comments that real. you saw both. Um, but yeah, so we'll get right into this. My favorite item, I will give you a spoiler, is something that we don't normally pick up because we know nothing about it. So make sure you stay because it's awesome. Uh, so first is going to be some standard James purse. This was purse. actually like the first brand we ever found when we were reselling. Uh, these are a size zero. Yep. And they did okay for us. Uh, I just don't You also it. had a controversy with retail arbitrage with tag swapping with James Purse. Oh yeah, this was before we had YouTube, but that's an Instagram post of ours. But yeah, uh, be careful with retail arbitrage because uh, they can get you. These are beta brands. They are. This is actually only the logo. So keep in mind if you, oh, is it focusing? I don't know if it's focusing for you guys, but if you see the logo. You can see the logo on the inside. Yep, if you see that logo, that is Beta Brand, and their shoes actually do quite well for me. These are the Tennis Western boots. They are adorable. I am in love with them, and we are hoping for around $75. So, amazing. And they are a size 8. Uh, this is a... <laughs> This is a pair of Hocus. Which I got a lowball on just before we filmed this video. I can throw that up for you guys, but wow. Lowballers today and yesterday have been extreme. And those were a size 10.5. I'm so bad at that. Uh, these are fits. They are riding pants that need a little bit of work, I believe. Yeah, they're, they have a little bit of smuts smuts. Um, as we mentioned before, equestrian hobbyists have money. So if you do see equestrian pants, breeches, breeches, how do you say that? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm the wrong person to ask. I don't ride horses. But if you see those, I'll pick them up because generally speaking, they are worth some good money and they go pretty fast. This is Anthropology, size extra small, nightmare mohair. We sold a Nightmare Mohair red skirt uh, a while back and we made a bet on whether or not it would sell. I won said bet. So now he's like, yeah, I get it. I get it. I, do, I don't get it. I, I just know that <laughs> I've accepted it. Uh, this is Warner Brothers Extra Large. This is vintage from 1996. Just a plain black turtleneck, but it does have Tweety. Bird. Bird. It's embroidered. Um, I mean, I doubt that there'll be much on, meat on that bone, but I cannot leave behind vintage Warner Brothers. It makes me excited and nostalgic every time. Did you give it a size? I don't Extra think large. You did. Yeah. Yes, I did. Excuse me. This is <laughs> Johnny O, which I have no understanding of. Uh, so I'm learning this brand from the uh, Men's Manifesto. I'm going to link that down below. Um, but. We're still working on that, seeing how it does for us. So I figured, why not give it a try? It's a it's a bread and butter type brand, not expecting a lot of money for it. It's a half it zip helps. size medium uh, with a little bit of silk in it. It's 10% silk. Yeah, so we'll see. Are you sorting? Are you sorting the good stuff? I am hiding the good stuff. <laughs> uh, this is Lily, uh, size extra small. Blue uh, cashmere sweater. Gotta love cashmere. That usually does quite well for me. Uh, this is Untuck It. Uh, this is a medium. This is a brand that I saw on Instagram at one point. Um, I've got a few pieces. I've sold one. Um, it's a bread and butter brand, but I'm trying to increase my yeah. men's items. So I'm hoping that this type of stuff will help. I'm actually kind of really sad that that's not an extra large because it's a really nice material. It is. It's really comfy. So if you guys know anything about this brand, let me know in the comments because uh, I'm still learning this one. This is Sims, and we learned this from Ginger Marvin. We did. We sold a t-shirt uh, by them. Not a ton of money, but it actually sold very fast. So it went internationally. It went to 
Great Britain. I think it did. Um, so we picked this up. It's a fishing brand, and I actually really like the colors, but there is a uh, branding yeah. on it, embroidered yeah. branding. So I don't know if that's going to affect the value, but it's really nice. I love the colors. It's so. a size medium as well, and it's a nice warm style fleece. Yeah. Um, let's see here. All right, getting down to the exciting exciting stuff. items. So this is Acris Punto. For, for Bergdorf. For Bergdorf. I believe this is a cropped sweater. It has to be. Because it's tiny. It's like it a little. It has to be a cropped sweater. Like, I'm little and my torso is not that small. Um, it's a size. At 12? 12. I think that says. Uh, it's a size 12, but anytime you see Bergdorf Goodman, uh, Acris especially, <laughs> buy it. Yeah. Buy it. Buy it all. Is there any material on this? I'm actually curious on that. It says wool cotton blend. Uh -huh. So these are uh, Burberry Brit, size extra, extra large. So those are sweatpants. The butt pocket says Brit, which is kind of cute, uh, but they're pretty plain. They don't like scream Burberry, but I think that somebody will still love them. We have gotten a few quite low offers, um, and I have not seen another that looks exactly like this listed. So. We'll see how this does, but can't leave behind Burberry. Why would I do that? It's crazy. And this is a Philip Lim dress. It's got a beautiful embroidered like texture pattern to it. Yeah. A uh, nice two tonality to it. Uh, it is a size small. It's got the turtleneck. Yeah, it's really cute. We don't find a lot of Philip Lim, but when we do, it does sell for a good amount. You just so. sold it. We, we told the live, but it sold for 75 because you all convinced her to send the offer back. Yeah, it was way lower than we had it listed for, but we said, you know what? It's it's good profit and let's get things moving. So that's what we did. Um, and it led to you having a very good day yesterday. It did. It well did. Well above your goal. Absolutely. So don't hold out. Make sure you take those offers if you have the margin to do so. So what is this item? So these are sneakers and I picked them out uh, not too long ago. These are Kyrie, uh, like the alien shoe. I don't remember exactly the title, but it's... Uh, we can always throw the title or style name on the screen for you guys. It's got the little alien on the back. We no. are still learning Nikes. Uh, we look at them if they look like they have something special going on or if they're a style that we've seen, you know, the shoe sellers selling on Instagram, but we're still learning very much. Uh, but these are Kyrie. So you said he's a basketball player, right? Yes. They're size 13. Uh, he's kind of a drama queen <laughs> and causes problems, but he's very good at basketball. So. And we saw another reseller uh, mention this on their video recently that he's doing really well right now. So this his stuff is going quickly. So we were like, oh, we need to make sure that we get this up. So these will be listed soon. As soon as we clean them up, as you can see, there's some writing on them and they've got some smuts, I guess you can call it. So we're, these are going to need to take a little bath and then they will be listed. They're going to go in the bath with the Jordans or the... Air Force Ones from the yesterday live. from the live. Yeah, so if you missed that, we did pick up Air Force Ones on the live yesterday. Uh, they do have a little bit of damage as well, um, but we'll see how they do. I will keep you posted on our journey with learning sneakers. Uh, it's a it's a journey. It's a process. So, so definitely stick around for that. But that is everything. Nice quick haul for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I know that hauls are not your favorite, so don't worry. The next video will not be a haul, but thank you for bearing with us. Leave those comments below. Let us know what you think of these items. And we'll be back really soon with a new video. Thank you all for watching.